Hey guys, uh, this is uh, the DK Bear, and uh, I'm new to YouTube, so bear with me here. I'm gonna make a video on uh, my blue Death Knight transmog set here. It's pretty simple stuff. Pay attention, and uh, it should be not too hard for you to understand. But uh, if y'all like the video, comment and uh, subscribe. Comment about things you want to see maybe in the future. Uh, or if you have questions about anything, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, but uh, I'll uh, post the uh, name of each piece I got down in the description. There's differences a little bit, but uh, anyways. So to start off, you want to go through your adventure guide right here between the eyeball and the uh, mount thing here. And you're going to go to home, and you want to click your expansion you want to go through. This is just to keep up with it. This is not something you have to do, but, you know, this is for the people who need something to look kind of glance at, you know. Go to Wrath of Lich King, and you're going to go to Ice Crown Citadel. And these are the bosses right here you're going to kill on Ice Crown Citadel. And you want to click the loot here. If you go to 25, or let's start with 10-man heroic here. Uh, you're just you're gonna get mainly drops for the warrior set, and that's not what you want if you want this blue set at the moment. Now the good thing about it is if you kill the Lich King, you will drop the one-handed axe. I'm not saying it's an automatic drop, but I'm saying he drops that. So he drops a cool one-handed mace here. So uh, before we get started too much into that, let's go ahead and talk about real quick what I got on here. This is a Battle.net helmet. That's just because of choice. I think it looks pretty epic, so I thought I'd put that on there. I do have the actual helmet, but I prefer to have my face out today, I guess. These axes are actually what I just said that the uh, Lich King dropped. Pretty cool. They actually have the uh, transmog look of, uh, I forgot what it's called. I think it's cool, cool something for the enchantment look, but uh, pretty tight. Shoulders, um, the shoulders, chest, uh, hands, and the legs are all uh, from what I'm about to show you. The belt I never got, but the cool thing about these belt, even in this set, the, the orange set or the purple set, the belt actually is connected to the pants. So if you just go to the transmog um, person and you're like, hey, you know, you transmog all your stuff and then you put no belt, it'll pop this belt up right here because that's just part of the pants, which is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool add-on there, or not add-on, but a cool effect. Makes it easier on you. And uh, I couldn't find the boots, so I went ahead and used, um, what are they called here? I used the knee breaker boots from the uh, from the uh, old uh, Justice vendor and Storm in the back of Storm on right there by, uh, by the training and honor vendors. Um, that was with gold before, after they took the currency for Justice away, so that was a pretty easy purchase there. But, uh, so yeah, we'll go through this real quick here, and uh, you're going to go back up and open your adventure guide. What you're going to need to buy this set is you're going to go to uh, your difficulty up here, and it has four different types of difficulties. You want to do the last three. It doesn't matter which one you want. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, the last three are what you need. So let's say we do 10-man heroic here. And you can click on the first one that will show up. It's not dropping the blue ones right here. These are the purple ones, so you can get the purple set as you're doing this, which is a help right there. So... Uh, so you want to get these, uh, the Vanquisher's Mark of Sanification. That's what you want. You don't want Protectors or Conquerors. You want Van Vanquisher's Mark of Sanification. And you can look through the bosses to see which ones drop it. And there's a couple bosses on here that drop it on this difficulty. It's not a bad drop rate. But they all drop uh, from, like I said, from 10-man heroic down to 25-man heroic. And that's basically what you're shooting for here. Um, pretty simple. You just want to collect them, and when you get all of them, you're gonna want to. You're thinking, you know, well, hey, where do I turn these in? Well, you're gonna go over here, not in the Legion Dalaran. You're gonna go to the old Dalaran, take the Dalaran portal for like through the shrine of the Seven Stars, for example, and take your portal, and you're gonna come over here to the Axe Building. Here's the map on Dalaran works at. And you're gonna walk in here, and you're gonna talk to. Horus uh, Hunderland right here. And this is where it's pretty simple right here. This first page is actually all purple gear you can buy, which used to actually be purchased with Justice currency, but now it's uh, gold. So 
you're farming this stuff and you buy this right here, you should have the money because you farmed while you're in there. And hey, a little sneak peek. A little sneak peek. There's a couple of uh, breakins in there you can actually use, put in the auction house that people need for like spider weed plot and stuff. That's actually worth a lot in the auction house. So go ahead and do that. But anyways, back to this. Uh, anyways, you wanna you wanna buy the ones that these on the next page say. So on the, if you go to the next page, two out of four here. It'll actually show the blue set if you have the add-on I'm using right now. If you don't have this add-on, you can actually hold down control and then left click, and it'll actually pop your guy up right here. So with the helmet on here, I'll show you what it looks like. That's the blue set right there. And you bring your tokens in here, the Vanquisher's Mark of Sanctification, and you're going to Sanctification, my bad. And you're going to find, like, if you want this helmet on the second page right here, you've got to have the Scourge Lord helmet, which is right here. Where is it at here? Scourge Lord helmet right here. You just buy this helmet, have it in your bag, and then have one of those Vanquisher Marks of uh, Sanctification coins. And then those two right there together will buy you this helmet. And that's what you do for every set in there. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, to set your raid difficulty to make sure you're getting the right loot, you go in here, click your raid difficulty, and you have normal, heroic, and then you just set the different player size down here. Mythic was not in the Lich King, from my understanding, so you don't need Mythic. That was kind of implemented in, I think, Mystic Pandaria. Okay, um, the location of the dungeon, what's actually pretty, pretty easy about this is if you're already in the old Dalaran, open your map up here and here's Dalaran this is where you are right here this is Ice Crown Citadel the entrance is like right here all you do is you get up and fly right here and you're, you're already there you just go into the entrance make sure your um, your raid difficulty is set on the right difficulty uh, and by the time you get done in there and you farm everything you should have enough money from trash and stuff to be able to go put on at least one mod set or if you made money, uh, I will actually talk about how to make good money in Legion. So stay tuned for that video. But uh, if y'all enjoyed this video, um, go ahead and comment. Let me know if you enjoyed it. I'll put some uh, details in the description for y'all if y'all had confusions. Uh, probably just a list of the armor. But anyways, if y'all enjoyed the video, let me know. Uh, comment. Tell me what you liked about it, what you disliked, and what I can do for you. Or if you have a request, then I can do those if I know how to do it. Uh, this is DK Bear. Uh, playing the Death Knight here. Uh, appreciate y'all watching my video. Subscribe, please.